In this quick video, I'll demonstrate how to create a Dream Report report in under 5 minutes. I'll start off by opening up Dream Report Studio. I already have a communication driver set up here, so the first thing I'll then do is create a new report. I'll give it a name, Process Report, Current Week. Schedule it to run every day at midnight. And make sure that my output format for this report is a PDF. We're now ready to start placing objects on the report. The best way to summarize a lot of data is to use the automatic statistic table, which I'll drop on the report here. In this object, I'm going to select a set of analog tags from my historian, but these could be from an HMI's log files, a SQL database, CSV file, or any other data archive. I'll grab my tank tags and then add them to the list. Let's set the time period to be for the current one week. And then choose which calculations to perform on the data. We'll choose the first and the last values, and then the min, the max, and the averages. Let's put a table header here and do some basic formatting. And then we're ready to move on to the next table. I'll add another automatic statistic table. This time I'll choose a set of discrete tags that I want to summarize, my tank mixers. We want to know how these mixers have been used this week. So I'll select these performance calculations on and off counters, running time, downtime, and percentage utilization. Again, let's put a table header here. Do some basic table formatting. And I'd like to show the descriptions and not the tag names in this table. Now let's add a line chart to the trend to show the moving averages of tank temperatures this week. So let me quickly add the three temperature tags. I'll add a legend and units and some basic formatting. And again, we're done with this one. I'm going to add a second page to this report on which I want to put an alarm summary table. In this table, I'd like to summarize all the high priority alarms this week. So I'll add the alarm table and then select the High Priority Alarms filter from my alarm data source. And then summarize by the alarm counts with a Pareto sort. Again, some basic formatting, and we're done with the alarm table. The last thing to do before I run this report is to add one of my pre-made page templates. This will give me a nice layout with a header, a footer, a logo, page number, etc. And we're done. I'll now save this report and then reload it. I'll test the report from the Runtime Management Console. After it generates, it opens, and there we see our summarized analog and discrete or mixer data uh, for this current week, the moving average line chart, and an alarm summary for the week, sorted by the highest number of occurrences. Thanks for watching.